Hello everybody, welcome, <laughs> good afternoon and welcome. Yes, I'm just, uh, I'm just fiddling around here, um, just playing around, I was, uh, yeah. I'm actually making a, a small, just a, is it actually just an experiment, really? It's not that it's anything very dramatically challenging, but um, I wanted to make a, a dish, a small dish, and put a divider across, you see. Just looking for my trim tool. It walked. <laughs> I got it back there. So, yeah, just a simple little dish, similar to a GP bowl, but sort of flatter. In fact, probably could do with a little trim on the corner there. So, You know, it's just a little bit, it just feels a little bit chunky through here. So I'm just going to nip that corner off there with my, with my trim tool. As you know, I've done sort of uh, bowls before, what I call like double bowls, you know, two bowls pushed together. That's one way of doing it. This is another way of doing it. And um, I don't usually do this way. I usually just throw two wet bowls and push them together when they're wet. Okay, I've just removed a little bit of the clay there from the from the bottom there. Okay, so let's just bring the camera a little closer. A little bit closer. So looking at this um, dish, I'm thinking, well, I want to put like a dividing a divider in the, and I was trying to think how to do it. And um, I don't know if I've actually come up with the best way, but I threw the, the bowl and I've thrown another piece of clay here, which is going to become, which is going to become the divider. So what I'm going to do is, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to start with, I'm just going to cut that down there like that, you see. So then that now will, now you've got to do this at the right moment because if you do it and let it get too hard, then you're going to have a problem. Okay, so I've got a, a fairly even strip of clay there. You see? So I've got, to, I've got to cut that piece of clay and make it fit into there. Well, I thought possibly the easiest way to do it is with a pair of scissors cut out of a piece of card, you see, like a template. A template. This is actually a little bit deeper than it needs to be. So what I thought I would do is put the template 
you see? I'll tell you what, maybe I'll do it at the end a bit in case I make a mistake and then I've got another, I've got then some more clay to do another one, you see? You have to think of these things. <laughs> what if, what if it all goes wrong, you know? Then, then what? Oh God, I have to throw a whole new piece of clay. Well, I can actually get two out of that, so. Are you seeing that? Are we in the picture there? Oh, we've got my cup of tea in the way. Nice drop of green tea, this real green tea. This is Genmai Matcha. It's a combination of green tea and uh, toasted rice. And if, you, if you're not been a, fav, a, a fan of green tea, I don't know if you can see there the rice and the green tea. I don't know if you're, maybe you're not a fan of green tea. I never was particularly. But if you, if you get the Genmai Matcha, it's actually wonderful and I really like it. Sorry, a little digression in there. Anyway, okay, so I've cut this little, this piece of card, you see. So I'm going to put the piece of card over the piece of thrown clay that I've cut and opened out. And I'm going to use my, my pen knife. And I'm just going to use the template as a, basically as a guide, you see. Like that. I should have shown you that it, it you know, I, I, I cut the template, you see, so that it would fit in like that. Fit in across a, fit, a reasonably a reasonably good fit, you see. Just, just cutting it with scissors. Okay. So let's just focus. Let's focus now here on the banding wheel. I don't know if I've ever done this before, to be honest. So it's a little bit of a first time. Ho, ho, ho. Doesn't look too bad, does it? In fact, my original idea was to make it in a sort of an S shape, you see? Because my name is Simon. <laughs> no, that wasn't the reason. All right, I, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the this piece of clay just around the edges. Now, of course, the advantage of doing this, if you do, if you throw a number of these and you throw them to a gauge reasonably accurately, your template is pretty much going to be, is going to work for all of them, isn't it? So this is a way of doing perhaps more than one. Now, um, okay, well, look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bit of clay, get him straight, you see. I'm going to put him in there like that. Okay, I've, I've, I've kind of made a mark there, you see, where the clay, because I wet it. I'm now just going to, uh, in this case, I'm not going to use my, I could use my fingernail actually, um, but it, it's almost just as easy in this kind of procedure just to, using that, using that line there, Got to make sure this goes right across the middle. All right, so I've just keyed, keyed that like that. Okay, next. Going to get a little bit of a slurry down there from my wheel tray. And I'm going to just put a bit of slurry here. along the line of the 
where I keyed it. All right, so it's looking something like that. Right, now then, I dip this in water so it's, it's reasonably soft. So what I'm gonna do now is make sure it's straight. And I've gotta locate this, you see, right in the middle there like that. Sometimes I feel as I expect you do, I'm all fingers and thumbs, you know, and I can't sort of, and then I find my fingernails sort of stick into the clay and it's sort of, scoring it up and marking it, you know. <laughs> so, Just throw out a couple of little, between my fingers, little sausages like that, you see. Which I'm going to lay down in there. I'm using a chopstick and I'm just working that there into the working it into the join. This is kind of hand work, isn't it? Hand building almost. It's, it's Just using the end of the top stick, just pushing down there on that little bit of clay that I just put there into the into the into the corner there. You just roll out a little, a little sausage. See what I've done? Just laid him in the corner there. Now you need to just sort of push him into the corner there a bit, you see? Like that. Just send to do. Kind of get so used to working on the wheel, doing this kind of work is, I almost feel like a child again, you know, like fumbling around. <laughs> So, in my fumbling, I'm sort of 
just don't know if this is the right tool actually really actually need something something with a sort of like rounded end just to get into the corner there a bit so at the moment it's looking a little bit rough and ready you see Are we in the picture are we in the picture yeah all right well you've got a general idea of what's how it's happening what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my my sponge now and i'm just going to wipe there into the corner you see like this right so make it as neat as possible <laughs> it's surprisingly difficult actually to 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 get down in there you know So, securing, <clears throat> securing that, okay, well, I, I, you know, I'm sort of, I'm doing this a little bit, you know, as you can appreciate, perhaps if the camera wasn't running, I wasn't, I'd be maybe taking a little bit more trouble over it, but. And um, so so that's pretty much it really, except I actually wanted to put a little uh, handle there. I was just looking for a little um, spatula knife that I had because I wanted to, to I wanted to make a cutout in here underneath you see and then lift it up a bit but I don't know the thin blade oh maybe I could try with this I could try with this couldn't I so I'm going to use this craft knife to push through here you see see I've I've taken out a little bit of clay I don't think I've taken out enough it's a bit awkward actually because I'm doing it at a slight angle you see
Gosh, I don't know if I'd want to make more than one of these. <laughs> I think maybe just... I think maybe just throwing and just pushing them together is somewhat easier. But... But maybe we're given, maybe we're given you an idea, you know. You know, there's a lot that you can do by altering a form. Just taking a, a fairly common form and, and changing it into something different by, you see, doing something like this. Okay, now I'm wetting this here, just in the area, because, and I don't know if I'm going to manage to do it, what I wanted to do was, I wanted to, to raise it there a bit, you see. By raising it just so it, it, it it's a little bit more than to hold on to isn't it I'm worried at the same time that by by r rushing it, it it might break away you see that's the problem Yes, it's starting to, starting to split there a bit. Well, I kind of rushed through that a bit folks but and I and I and I did feel a bit butter of think butter fingers if you know what I mean by butter fingers um so you'll have to forgive me for that I'm sorry about that but anyway um I just wanted to Maybe sow a seed there, maybe something there that you can, you can, you can try, you can have a go at, you see. It's just a little, it's just a little different, isn't it? And if you can imagine that this, you know, somewhat bigger, um, you could perhaps, you could perhaps uh, squash it so that it was a little bit uh, flattened on the, on the two sides here and a bit narrower and a little longer you know okay folks there it is as you can see I'm still practicing but have a go at that all right um, some people are good at hand building I, I, I don't know if I am particularly but um, you know you can it combines a bit of throwing with a little bit of, 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 of hand work, you see. I would have liked this perhaps to have been a little a bit of, if I could have redone it again, you know, and this little cylinder that I threw, if perhaps I'd thrown it a little taller, would have given me a little bit more scope for a little bit more of a raise here. Do you know what I mean? And I could have then perhaps... Um, I could have pared it, pared it down, you know, on the side bits here, leaving it higher here in the middle. Anyway, it's a little bit of an off-the-cuff video, and uh, just thought I'd share it with you. And uh,
So folks, that's it. Keep practicing. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.